Bolanter class, introduction and use of quadrilateral array. The quadrilateral array is a more convenient stack method developed on the basis of general stack, mainly used for regular stack on a horizontal plane. Open a dictor S, H, click stack and find quadrilateral array. Create a stack. We can see there is a schematic diagram of a quadrilateral array. On the left, T0 represents the origin point of the material placing center. T1 represents the last material placing center point in the X direction. T2 represents the last materials placing center point in the Y direction. T3 is the last materials placing center point for ray placement. When setting, we need to prioritize setting the PO point because the positions of P1, P2, and P3 cannot be set separately. They must be consistent with P0. Therefore, after setting PO, it is not possible to set P1, P2, and P3 points through the U, V, and W axis. We can only move using world coordinates X, Y, and Z. We can also choose counters here. Select the self counter or create a new counter. Click PO point on the right and move it to the origin point of the material placing center through teaching. Click set in to record PO point and the U, V, and W coordinates of P1, P2, and P3 points have also been set. Set the positions of X, Y, and Z through teaching. Then we need to set the number of points in the X, Y, and Z directions and the system will automatically generate the point path. If the number of items in the Z direction is greater than one, we have to input the height of the placed material. It should be noted that the positive and negative values of Z height will affect whether the robot performs an upward and stacking or downward stacking action. Next is to select the sequence order and sequence type. There are only two orders, X direction first or Y direction first. The Z direction is the last. Then there are the placement types, including Z-type and S-type. The Z-type means that after placing one line of work pieces, the next line is also placed from scratch. The S-type is placed in reverse order after completing one row. Next, let's start practical operations. After setting the above parameters, return to the addictor S, H. Use the quadrilateral array, you just set up and insert it. Then set the action instruction and counter. Run to see the effect. The advantage of a quadrilateral array is that it only needs to record the starting point, ending point, and number. And the system will help you to calculate the points placed in the middle, greatly reducing programming difficulty. Compared to normal stack, the quadrilateral array is equivalent to creating a new workbench. No need to set additional user coordinates, greatly accelerating programming speed. Above is the Bolanter class. Introduction and use of quadrilateral array. Any questions about the content? Welcome to ask questions in the comments. Follow me for more technical information.